Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what is your favorite part about being an altar boy? Being an altar boy? <clears throat> the guys. Sorry. <laughs> Just hanging out with the guys. Like, see, there's Matthew. He's like my guardian angel. We've been best friends for like ever. Uh, and then there's Luke. He's like my older brother. We just always hang out. And then there's Juan, really good friend. We like to go shopping quite a bit and picks out my really stellar clothes. <laughs> and that's the whole gang. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he <laughs> wrote our lyrics. My favorite artist, Barbara Streisand. It was from the Barbara Streisand tour. My mom went to it. She gave me the shirt when I turned 16. All aboard. My favorite word. <clears throat> boys, because it stands for the group. Just like boys. I don't know. <laughs> this is hard. <sighs> Matthew sings lead, and I just, it's a fantastic voice. Something about you. On the Raise of Praise tour, we bring along a soul sensor that talks about all the guilty souls out in the audience. Picks up soul particles. It's from Sony. And what we do is that we do selected numbers throughout our entire concert, and we're not done until we save every soul out in the audience. Hi fans, thank you for supporting us and letting us do our thing on stage. Come see us. Matthew, TV people want to talk to you. Hello. <laughs> this is Matthew. Uh, um, Mark? Thank you, Mark. Thanks. I met all these guys in church. Do you need something? Um, Hey. My favorite part about being on stage, spreading the word of God. God speaks to me constantly. It's a constant voice up here. I feel like God speaks to everyone, doesn't he? I want my fans to know God put the rhythm in me, and he can put that rhythm in you too. We all get along really well. You know, we had some issues with Luke, but he works through them, and you know, he's back on the road with us and everything's great. Care to elaborate on that? You know, he hit a rough patch. A rough with patch. A rough patch with some issues with exhaustion, and you know, I don't really want to talk about Luke's issues. Ask Luke. I feel like you should be talking to Luke about this, and I'm a little... Can I be done for a minute? Is that okay? Let's go see what's happening. <laughs> Is everything okay? Mm-hmm. You sure? It's fine. Um, well, at first, I just felt on the outside, um, and it just felt awkward because I didn't really know anything about them, and then I was writing the lyrics, especially for, like, church rules, describing this Catholic sermon, and I'd never even been to one, so went with them, and, you know, they were helping me with the lyrics on that one, and went to church, and 
just blew my mind how spot on that song is on the Catholic sermon. But you know, and then I just really got my frustrations out with Everybody Fits, and that's really a true to life song that I feel really strongly about. I like the dancing. There's a lot of, you know, freedom and stuff. I, God knew what we were supposed to do, and I gave Mark the dancing. Do you know? I'm sorry, I just thought of something really funny <laughs> when we were dancing and the sprinkler. I didn't know what, what it, it was like on the grass when they had the water. Do you know? It's funny. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure you know. It's funny. It's like the, <laughs> when you do the water and the sprinkler. <laughs> it's so funny. I was, I was born in Tito. Well, I don't know exactly where I was born, but uh, I was dropped on the church, uh, on, on the steps of a church in Tijuana, and um, I was raised by some nuns there. And then after I just moved, when I got older, I came over to Ohio and I started, you know, I met the boys at church, and the rest is history. <laughs> come, come and see our show. Do you know, when we are in your town, come and see us. Uh, mom, mama and papa, if you're out there, uh, te quiero. Y I, I, I hope to find you one day. I, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm nervous. <laughs> if, if you are, please come see me and, and, and let me know, of course. My mom made me be an altar boy, okay? So, good cut. You know, can we start over? You know, I just need to, a moment. It could, it could be like, you know, uh, next question. Is this hard for you? Yeah. No, this interview is over, no. I'm, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Is it really upset? Uh, well, uh, maybe we should, Wait, here, wait, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Okay. Okay, so maybe we should, you want to talk about it? Let's move on, let's move on. I really, <laughs> I can't even say that on camera, can I? Brains, man, it's just freaky, just circumstances. To each your own, man. To each their own. I carry a lot of stuff. I drive the van. So, yeah, I know. Like, like, yeah, you know. I'm doing the one with my drive license right now. Yeah. So. You're in a tower, just like surrounded by just blinking lights and just craziness. You have pilots, you know, calling up on the phone and just saying, you know, I got seagulls in my grill. You know, it's like, pull the nose up. It's like, I can't handle that kind of stress. It's just... Do what it is that you love. That that's it. That's all that matters. Peace. Oh, I love flan. Do you have some flan? I love flan. We know. We know who. You know, we're coming for you.